Hey, hello everyone. So in this particular video, let us speak about cesium chloride structure. Now cesium chloride is an ionic compound in which you have got cesium plus and Cl minus. Now we all know any ionic compound follows a radius ratio rule. That is a radius of cation divided by radius of anion. In case of cesium chloride, the radius ratio falls between 0 0.732 to 1. That suggests that cesium chloride must be forming a BCC type of crystal. I'm not saying a BCC crystal, a BCC type of crystal that is your body centered cube type crystal in which one of your ion, that is your smaller ion, will be inside a void that will be called as a cubic void and the larger ion will be forming a main lattice point. Now the problem with cesium chloride structure is the cesium chloride structure cannot be termed as, a, and as an exact body centered cube. The reason over here is, over here the cesium and chlorine, both of them have got almost approximately equal size. Hence I can say that it looks like that cesium and chlorine are two different unit cells which are fused together. For example, let us try to understand this. I have got chlorine which is present at the corners over here and I have got cesium which is present at the body center that will be cesium plus obviously. Now, you can say that it's a type of body centered cube because your cesium is present inside the body cavity of the lattice formed by chloride ions okay that's the body centered cube that's a cubic void your cesium is trapped inside a cubic void but that's not absolutely true because if you try to look over here it's a 2d view where i can explain you suppose i have got green atoms the green atoms are arranged in this manner that's it's layer a and then again you have got a layer b it's a layer a then you've got a layer b then you've got a layer A again of your of let's say green color represents your uh, chloride ions and presents your cesium plus ion. Okay, it's a 2D arrangement, and from this 2D arrangement you can get an idea about a 3D arrangement. Okay, now again you have got in this way the green and red colors are arranged. Now what if I try to make a unit cell? If I try to make a unit cell in this fashion, it will look like as if the green color atoms are forming a unit cell. They are present at the corner or the lattice point of your unit cell and your red color particle is trapped inside this square void which looks like this over here it feels as if Cl minus are forming a unit cell and your chlorine over the cesium over there is trapped inside that body cube now obviously this is a 3d structure and right now over here what we are we are doing an analogy and this is a 2d structure now I can continue this unit cell and it will look like as if your cesium ions as if your cesium ions are trapped inside the cavity of this unit cell well there's another picture to this you can view the structure in this manner as well you can make a unit cell like this you can make a unit cell like this where it would appear as if your red particles are forming a unit cell and your green particles are trapped inside your body cavity so you cannot exactly say that the unit cell is formed by which ion whether is it a green color particle or whether it is a red color particle it i can rather say that there are two types of unit cell one is your green uh, green particles which are making a unit cell and the other one are your red particles which are making a unit cell if you consider red particles forming the crystal your green particle will be lying at the body center and if you consider green particles making a unit cell your red particles will be lying at the body center so it's up to you how you want to visualize it so what we visualize usually is considering that cl minus ions are making a unit cell cl minus ions are making a unit cell and your cesium is trapped inside that body cavity it can be assumed vice versa you can even consider this as if your cesium ions are making you can view uh, this in this manner as well as if your cesium ions are forming a body centered cube uh, uh, lattice in this fashion all these ions are your cesium ions whereas you have got your chloride ion which is trapped inside let me draw this as your chloride ion so the picture can be or this diagram can be viewed in in any fashion either you can view as the crystal or the simple cubic unit cell formed by cl minus and your cesium ion being trapped inside the body cavity or you can you can imagine as if your cesium ions are forming a simple cubic unit cell and your chloride ion is trapped inside your cavity so most of the time what we assume or what we draw in our books or in many of your standard reference books we consider chloride ions forming a simple cubic unit cell and cesium present inside the body cavity okay so i hope this structure is quite clear now whatever may be the case i can clearly say that one unit cell of cesium chloride which looks like a body centered cube 
which looks like a body centered cube I, it won't be correct to say that it is exactly a body centered cube as I already mentioned you can imagine it as if two different types of simple cubes are fused inside okay so one simple units one unit cell of your cesium chloride will contain if you are considering chlorine atoms present at the corner or the lattice point so chloride ions over here are one eight one eight part of your chloride ion is with this particular unit cell i hope you know all this thing that any ion which is present at the vertex or at the corner of a cube contributes one eighth part any ion which is present at the edge will be contributing one fourth part any ion which is present at the body cavity will be contri contributing entire one part okay so all this i have already explained in one of my video where i have discussed about all about unit cell or about simple cubic unit cell now in this particular case since we are considering chloride ion forming the simple cubic unit cell i can say that 1 8 into 8 is the contribution of chlorine to this entire unit cell that is 1 8 parts which is present over here and there are 8 such chloride ions which are present at the 8 different different corners so 1 8 into 8 plus 1 cesium plus ion is entirely present inside the body cavity so this will be one contribution from your cesium so i can say in all one unit cell of your cesium chloride has got one cesium plus ion and one Cl minus ion. So I can say one cesium chloride molecule. So one cesium chloride molecule will be forming one unit cell. You need to understand this part. The next second most important thing, the next most important thing is coordination number. Look, if you consider unit cell formed by chloride ions where your cesium ion is present is trapped inside the cavity the coordination number of cesium over here will come out to be 8 because the cesium is in, con in direct contact with 8 different chloride ions so the coordination number will be 8 for cesium if you view the structure in this way now if you um, imagine that your chlorine is present inside and your cesium is present outside in that particular case as well your coordination number for chloride ion will come out to be 8 or you can say this chloride ion which is present right now over here is part of 8 cubes it's a part of 8 cubes okay in this particular cube it is only in contact with the body center not with the particle which is present at the next corner not with the particle present at any of the other corner so this particular particle is only in contact with this body centered cube now since this chloride ion is a part of 8 different cubes it will be in contact with eight different body centered cesium ion in eight different in eight different cubes so i can say the coordination number for cl minus ion will also be eight now the next important thing that you need to understand is the density of a cube density of a cube the simple formula if you write the simple formula for density of a cube is given by is equal to mass of atom plus mass of another atom whole divided by a cube or rather than writing mass i should rather write weight weight now since there are two cesium there are two atoms one is cesium atom and one is your chlorine atom mass of one atom always remember weight of one atom is always given by molar mass divided by avogadro number over here it's avogadro number over here there's one atom present for cesium and there's one atom of chlorine so molecular mass of molar mass of cesium divided by avogadro number that's the mass of one atom of cesium atom okay plus molar mass of cl divided by avogadro number that's the mass of one atom of chlorine that's cl minus whole divided by a cube now if you if you rearrange this the this comes out to be since na na is common na will be taken out and na comes out over here that's molar mass of cesium plus molar mass of chlorine that comes out to be molecular yeah molar mass of cesium chloride divided by a cube so this is the formula that you can use for density of a simple cube density of a cesium chloride cube the next question that comes into mind is the distance the nearest neighbor distance or the distance between cation and anion that also called as distance of closest approach now if you look over here the distance between cesium and chlorine will be nothing but the half of body diagonal will be half of body diagonal your body diagonal is given by a formula that's root 3 into a okay i already mentioned in my previous videos that face diagonal is always given by a formula that's root 2 into a that's your face diagonal and your body diagonal is given by a formula root 3 into a now it's very clear from this diagram that the distance between cl minus and the distance between the cesium or vice versa you can take it anyway will be half of your body diagonal so distance nearest neighbor distance or the distance of closest approach between cation and anion is given by body diagonal divided by 2 that's root 3a divided by 
टू ना द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज नंबर ऑफ यूनिट सेल मैनी टाइम्स क्वेश्चन में बी आस्क कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ यूनिट सेल्स प्रेजेंट इन अ गिवन अमाउंट ऑफ इन अ गिवन वेट ऑफ सीजियम क्लोराइड ओके सो इन दैट पर्टिकुलर केस यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ यूनिट सेल्फ ना वी ऑल नो दैट वन मॉलिक्यूल वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ सीजियम क्लोराइड करस्पॉन्ड्स टू वन यूनिट सेल इफ अ सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ वेट इज गिवन टू यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कन्वर्ट इट इंटू नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल हाउ डू यू कन्वर्ट अ वेट इंटू नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल द सिंपल फॉर्मुलाइज वेट अपॉन मोलार वेट मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एवोगेड्रो नंबर दिस करस्पॉन्ड्स टू द नंबर ऑफ दिस सिंपल मोल कॉन्सेप्ट सपोज इफ आई टेल यू दैट एम इज द मोलार मास ऑफ सीजियम क्लोराइड एम मास ऑफ सीजियम क्लोराइड एम ग्राम ऑफ सीजियम क्लोराइड विल करस्पॉन्ड्स टू एवोगेड्रो नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स दैट्स वन मोल corresponds to 6.022 to 10 to the power 23 so suppose if i'm saying that the weight of cesium chloride is m okay that's molar mass of cesium chloride that will always corresponds to na now if i tell you how many molecules of cesium chloride will be present in w gram so number of molecules present in w gram that's n so number of molecules present in w gram of cesium chloride will be given by a formula w gram divided by molar mass which will be in grams multiplied by avogadro number gram and gram gets cancel so number of molecules present in any given amount of substance of cesium chloride will be weight upon molar weight multiplied by avogadro number and that will corresponds to that much unit cell because one molecule corresponds to one unit cell so these many molecules will correspond to that many unit cell so the simple formula for calculating number of unit cells of cesium chloride will be weight upon molar weight multiplied by na divided by 1 i hope why that one comes over here that's because of the cross multiplication i hope in this particular video the cesium chloride structure is quite clear to you in case if you like this video please do consider subscribing my channel and uh, please do share video with your friends and these videos are quite useful for all the students who are in their 11th and 12th grade till then bye bye take care and god bless you